So let's go live then. Going live. You're live. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood on the GTX 1050 Ti, 750 Ti, 570, 580 and 1650 Super. How are you guys doing? Thanks to Nikon for providing a copy of the game. I started playing yesterday, I played it for a couple hours so I get familiar with the controls and all that. So how are you guys doing? Uh, Arx570 user from Indonesia, well welcome. ¿Qué clase de Wolf Team es este? <laughs> no sé, pero acá estamos. Uh, saludos desde Cuba, bueno, saludos desde Uruguay. You can't watch this live stream, you, you're at work. Gonna watch it tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago. <laughs> That's hilarious, guys. I love you all. How are you doing? Alright, so this is an Unreal Engine 4 game. And as such, I'm pretty familiar with the options menu. So let me show you super quickly. We got resolution, draw distance, anti-aliasing, post-processing, shadows, textures, effects, foliage, and a handy resolution scale gauge. So yeah, and B-Sync disabled. So first we're going to try the highest settings on 1080p. The game doesn't look that great. If I'm honest, it looks pretty outdated, but it seems to be running okay. So we're going to start with the highest settings on the 1050Ti. Hola, you don't even see the point of testing a bad game like this one. Well, I mean, all the games deserve a chance, I think. So yeah, and thank you so much, James CH, for becoming an awesome supporter 1.0. Thank you so much for the support, man. Super appreciated. You're always in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the emojis and the icon next to your name. You've been already two months, I think, so... You lost your membership for some reason. Yeah, I tweaked some of the membership things and it broke. So I had to delete it and make it a new one. So apologies. So let's start right away with the game. Let's play it on normal. I love that intro. Say, please say it. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago. And today I'm going to be testing Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood on the 1050Ti, 750Ti, and I'm going to skip all these cutscenes. As usual, no spoilers. Yeah, the plan is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I was saying a second ago, Unreal Engine 4, the animations look super stiff. The graphics, so the graphics I don't think are impressive. It looks outdated. Let's just call it that, let's be honest. But I never played a werewolf game in general. I never see those at all. Yeah, I mean, those animations, holy hell. But I mean, I always wanted to play a werewolf game in general. It reminds me kind of a prototype when the combat is going on. So let's just <laughs> skip all this and get to the combat, which is what I'm interested in. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the best. Well, thank you. She's so tiny. My character is so tall, look at this. I'm like one and a half heads taller. She's super tiny, what the heck? <laughs> Those proportions. All right, let's skip this. Time to go into combat, hopefully. Oh guys, I'm using a controller to play this, a PS5 controller. But oh, yeah, I mean, look at this. Looks updated. Stiff animation. And we're, but we're getting on 1080p Ultra, 50 to 60 FPS. So at least the numbers in the performance side are good so far. But yeah, this looks like a remastered game from the 360 and PS3 era. Yeah, it looks like a, a remaster of an old game. So yes, I was saying outdated, but I'm interested in the combat as a werewolf. That's what caught my attention. Yeah, it's normal always about vampires. This is something different. Yeah, I agree completely. I mean, I'm, I haven't seen a werewolf game like ever. Again, the closest thing I saw was like prototype. Okay, Penumbra Vision. Let's hack this computer. 
and just as easily we open the door and we disable the cameras <laughs> sure why not oh you bought a ps5 no unfortunately it's too expensive but i bought the controller because i like the how it fits in my hands not dirty talk <laughs> it's it's very comfortable i have big hands so i like heavy controllers so it's perfect what's going on with your voice it's like a new mic or what yeah it's a new microphone but i'm testing different presets so not sure if it sounds good or not okay we're getting some drops here in this cinematic Ese primer título de Werewolf, el resto son juegos de mesa, parte de World of Darkness, igual que los Vampire. Ah, no sabía eso. So guys, some people are telling me that this is the first Werewolf game from this franchise. It's always been a tabletop game. So kind of makes sense, I think. But again, never had the chance to play as a Werewolf in a video game. Again, the closest thing, I think it was Prototype and the Wolverine game from the 360 era. Then they never touch on it again. Alright, so stealth. Yeah, pretty basic stealth, apparently. Nobody hears you if you're not in line of sight. Oh, okay. So forced, forced stealth in the first level. That's pretty unfortunate. Greetings, bro. Well, greetings, Tony Anderson. Good to see you here. Okay, so this section is forced stealth, which is pretty unfortunate, but hey. Let's get through it fast. I want to play as a werewolf, please. That would be nice. That's what I played the game for, for the werewolf sections. All right, gotcha. So let's quickly go by this stealth section. Okay, there are screen space reflections as well. But again, this mostly feels like a last gen, well, last gen, 360 PS3 era game with more modern graphics. And by modern graphics, I mean it has screen space reflections, it's Unreal Engine 4, you know the deal. <laughs> but I'm just looking forward to that uh, werewolf combat. This is just for stealth. Not super into it. But hey, what mic are you using now? I'm using a Yeti X. I had a normal blue Yeti. This is a Yeti X. So yeah, he should have done another episode of Sticks. Oh, this is from the people that made Sticks. I didn't know that. This is a really good uh, stealth game, in my book at least. But the, it makes sense because the animations on that one are also super stiff. So kind of makes sense. Yeah, finally, combat. Give me some of that combat. All right, finally, werewolf. This is what I was waiting for. Yeah, definitely feels like prototype, but with a werewolf character so far. Okay, so dodge mechanic, there's two stances. So I have the fast version and the heavy attack version. But I'm seeing when I'm in combat that I'm getting some drops into the 50s. So let's try to tweak the game a little bit. So we're going to the options menu. And we're going to drop to high settings. Let's give it a try. So we drop everything to high except in touches. So this is now high settings. So let's change the status to that. 1080p high. Hopefully that gives us lock 60s. What happens to my glasses? I'm not using them. They were uncomfortable. But maybe in the future I start using them again. Who knows? Alright, so 60 frames per second now. So yeah, we got fast werewolf and slow, more powerful werewolf. Interesting. But yeah, I'm getting those prototype vibes and those X-Men Origins Wolverine throwbacks on this one so yeah it feels like a 360 era game with some modern graphics which isn't really a bad thing but i don't know how the game will pan out after this oh i have to do heavy stances okay 
So yeah, so far this is the best part after the stealth section. <laughs> the combat feels good. Although, again, the animations, except in the werewolf, feel super stiff. So yeah. Anyways, but I'm seeing that the high settings are working okay. We seem to be at 60, so performance pretty decent considering the visuals. Never mind about the animation, the werewolf also has pretty weird... yeah. <laughs> but again, I'm getting those prototype vibes. Hopefully there are no more forced stealth sections. But so far the werewolf part, I'm enjoying it. It feels more like a brawler. Alright. Okay, those shield guys are pretty annoying. Anybody else? Uh, did someone check out Little Nightmares 2? I didn't know it was released, so I might... Okay, what the hell? They're just spawning in front of me. What the hell? <laughs> was it so difficult to make them run out of the door instead of just spawning at the at the entrance? <laughs> weird, weird decisions there. Alright, let's keep moving. There's a demo for this game, I didn't know that. If there's a demo I recommend you give it a try. It has a very mixed reviews and now I understand why. Graphics are not that great, the forced stealth section at the start hopefully doesn't repeat itself. But the werewolf gameplay feels pretty good so far. It feels like they spent all the money on the cutscenes. I mean, graphically, the cutscenes look a lot better. Not great, but a lot better. Never mind. The characters look super... <laughs> What's the name of this? <laughs> Not great, the models. Okay, boss fight. Come get me, bro. So, werewolf versus werewolf. But the good part, at least right now, you sound loud and l like you have a cold. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm going to check that out once I swap GPUs. Hang on a second. Going to try change a little bit of how the mic sounds. I'm not that good at that. Let's see. Does that sound better? Let me know, guys. <laughs> I'm very new with the mic stuff. I'm trying to tweak it myself, but it doesn't seem to be panning out super good. It kind of reminds me of Vampire. Yeah, true. I agree completely. Although Vampire, the, the combat and the animation felt better than this. This feels more like a brawler. Vampire felt more like a Souls game. This mostly reminds me of Prototype, when you are in those rage parts and, um, and X-Men Origins Wolverine, the video game. It reminds me of that. Alright, so we killed him. Awesome. But at least the performance is okay. On high settings, 1080p on a 1050 Ti, I'm getting that 60 frames per second experience. Oh yeah, those character models, holy hell, look at that. They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our I mean, the main character is the one that looks the best, which makes sense. But I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that NPC. <laughs> Let's keep everything. But so far, the game runs well. High settings, 60 frames per second, with some drops into the 50s. So on that side, I think it's good, the numbers. Avoid the camera's detection. Okay, another forced stealth part. So let's try 900p Ultra now. Now that we're here. 
So we lower it to 900p and we max it out. That should give us like 6 FPS probably. So yeah, at least the numbers are fine so far. So this is now 900p Ultra. So 900p max. And we fix the, um, <laughs> the FPS scanner. So, in the pause menu, we're getting 700 FPS. Alright, so on max settings, we're getting great numbers so far. At least on 900p. On 1080p, I had to drop to high. Okay, avoid the camera's detection. So, I'm guessing that I'm going to lose if I get detected. Which is unfortunate. I wish I could just be a werewolf and kill everyone on sight. Whoa, that camera. Don't detect me, please. I don't want to replay this section. <laughs> Come on. I'm inside. Oh, yeah, I, I, I hate those stealth for false force stealth sections, so this is not a good first impression. <laughs> All right. This game has PS4-like graphics. I would say like a remastered PS3, Xbox 360 game with screen space reflections. Considering how the animations look and the sound and the models. So yeah, feels like a double-A game, basically. But at least the werewolf fighting parts felt good so far. Locked by a computer. Let's unlock it. Yeah, I don't even need to aim to the head. I just get them right away. It's again fun so far. The werewolf sections, I like them, the brawler parts. But these forced stealth sections, I don't like them so much. I'm but I personally do not enjoy stealth when it's forced. When it's optional, okay, that's fine. But when they force me to go stealth, mm, not particularly great. They're not running the most attractive operation here. I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Andrew. And I can't even run. I'm just <laughs> crouched here. Yeah, the graphics are not that bad. But at least the game runs good, so I'll give him that. But it looks the animations look stiff. That's basically what makes it look worse. Somebody what? Okay, he's down. Let's continue. Oh, I forgot I can, I can be a, a wolf. Oh, yeah, first impressions. I like the werewolf fighting brawler style. But I'm not enjoying the stealth sections so far. I mean, they're just not look in this direction for some reason. They just stay there, <laughs> looking at that light. Pretty interesting. Is this a new game? Yeah, it released today. Let's see how it goes. I want more werewolf sections. Maybe I'm just not difficult, but I don't find disgusting what I'm seeing. Well, great. Yeah, it's not disgusting. It just looks dated with this animation but it does have screen space reflections and pretty decent shadows so yeah it just doesn't feel like a new game let's just leave it at that <laughs> but I'm just waiting for more action sections okay let's get him down But I've been waiting for a werewolf game for a long time. This is the first time I played as a werewolf in a video game. But I'm pretty good at stealth, as you can see. <laughs> but I don't like that it's forced. If it was optional and I could just be a werewolf all the time, I'll go for that. Hopefully it's just the beginning and then we get to play as whatever we want. Okay, it's better. Thank you. Okay, Penumbra Vision. Awesome. 
Okay, silver. Ah, I forgot that werewolves do not like silver. <laughs> Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. And there's some mechs over there. Hopefully that's the next boss fight. What happened to your glasses? You had eye surgery. I never needed glasses actually. Those were just to rest my eyes. But they started to make me dizzy. So the doctor said, well, you can stop using them for a while. Then you see how you feel. So yeah, I was getting motion sick using glasses. So I stopped using them. I don't have any eyesight problems. It's just to rest my eyes because I'm all day looking at screens. So yeah. That was basically the thing. Nothing here. Let's keep going. Are they going to see me? Okay. <laughs> I managed to get past them. Let's continue as a dog. Oh, I cannot go that way. Okay. Let's go this way then. Alright. Managed to get past them. Uh, please GP attempts. The GP attempts are into the 70s, I think. I'm not showing them because it's different on every case. So yeah. Okay, cannot skip this cutscene. Oh man, those models. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, the main character looks okay, but... Those animations. That's okay. As long as the game is fun, I can look past this. But it doesn't look like a new game. But so far, again, the werewolf parts, that it was like a brawler. I like that. So I'm waiting. Again, I cannot skip this just yet. But it runs well. I'm running it on max settings 900p on a 1050 Ti. It runs at 60 frames per second. Have you tried working with Capframe X software? Pretty, plenty of settings there. I'm going to try later on. And Rage, yes please. Okay, I'm finally a werewolf again. Let's just kill everyone. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, so far, for what I've been playing those 20 minutes, I'm really enjoying the brawler parts of the werewolf. The stealth sections, not so much, because those were forced. But this part, I like it, this brawler type of thing. That I'm just hitting everyone. But that's just my personal preference. I do like stealth games, but not when it's optional. Alright. That was neat. Yeah, the, the girl's face was <laughs> pretty stiff, to say it in some way. Alright, there's a skill tree here, let's see. Heavy, that's something I use a lot, so let's go heavy. And let's turn into a wolf. So yeah, so far the parts that are, that are like a brawler, I like it quite a bit. At least first impressions. And I can drink some whiskey. Yeah, give me some. <laughs> Number vision. Yeah, let's open this up. All right, let's get down here. Please, not another stealth section. Forced stealth section. No cameras. Okay, good. Press triangle to sabotage a reinforcement entry. Oh, I can... Okay, there's a button that says Enrage is behind me. There are one Enrage. So, let's Enrage. Hell yeah. No forced stealth. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I can just be a werewolf whenever I want. Yes, please. Yeah, I love this part. And as you guys said, super gory. Look at that blood in the ground. <laughs> so yeah. As long as they don't force me to do stealth, I am I'm enjoying it. 
this thing. Cool. Yeah, again, re this reminds me a lot of Prototype and uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine with the Brawler part. So yeah, super cool. They are kicking my ass though, <laughs> with those silver bullets. Anybody else? <laughs> Alright, so 900p max appears to be fine. So let's go to 1080p once again on high settings because max not running so well. I mean, not running so well. It was into the 50s and 40s instead of the 60s. So this is how to get 60s on 1080p most of the time, which will be 1080p high. So this seems to be the sweet spot for the 1050 Ti. The game doesn't look that different. So you get good shadows, decent reflections. And the models are the same. So yeah, 1080p. Yeah, Prototype was, was the S back then. I agree completely. <laughs> I love Prototype. So the... Um, this section that I'm a werewolf doing the brawler combat. I'm liking it so far. This part as a human, not so much. Okay, yeah, there's no force stealth right now. I can just press R1 and boom, I'm a werewolf and I kill everyone. So yeah, I like that now stealth is optional. Yes, please. Okay, they're going reinforcements. No, you're not. Okay, they called reinforcements. So that means, oh, sorry, the FPS scanner. I forgot to fix it. So let's put it back up there. There we go. Are you hyped for Resident Evil Village? Yeah, of course. I mean, it feels more like an... Less than like Resident Evil 7 and more like Resident Evil 4 in first person so far. And by that I mean you get more weapons. You can buy upgrades from the merchant, so... And I like the setting as well. So yeah, I think that will be a fun game. Seems to be less focused on scaring you and more of being a horror game with weapons. So yeah, pretty pumped about it. I'm getting some drops when there is a few effects on screen, but other than that, it appears to be 60 frames. So yeah, we're going to now swap to the 750 Ti, I think. I've seen enough on this card. And I finished the stealth, the forced stealth section. So I'm glad that now I have the option to just go loud. That's what I'm playing the game for. The werewolf sections. So yeah, let's get in here. And open that door. And once we get the game saved. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting here some guards. And I have the enrage button. So I can just come back here and do some stealth that or fail miserably and press R1 <laughs> and kill everyone so R1 boom and I start killing everyone so yeah I'm liking that I have the option to just go loud since I think that the best part about the game so far is the being the werewolf so yeah did I miss a 1650 super test? No, I'm doing the 1050 Ti now, so this is the first part. I'm going to swap to the 1650 super at the end of the live stream. So don't worry, you are not late. We've been only 30 minutes, 30 minutes in. We're doing 750 Ti super quick, then 570, then 580, then 1650 super. But yeah, so far it appears to run just fine. 60 frames on 1080p on high settings, 50 to 60, better said. I'm dropping into the 50s when I have a, quite a few effects on screen. So yeah, it appears to be running okay so far. So, nice. Good numbers. So yeah, let me see. Let's get in, <laughs> into the back of the truck. Alright, so I beat this level. Awesome. Now I'm in a forest. Great. I'm probably going to drop some frames because foliage. Too late. 
But yeah, also the requirements for this game were super low already, so I wasn't expecting great graphics, but it looks okay. Let's skip everything. All right, awesome. Now in the forest, we're getting... Yeah, we're getting 70s, so it's running okay. It was running worse in the combat section as a werewolf, so... So far, so good with the performance. Yeah, prototype with werewolves, that's a good way to see it. It's not open world, but the levels have some uh, linear fashion to them. So let's skip this. Whatever. I'm just here for the gameplay and the performance. But I'm pumped to see if there's a boss fight with a mech or something. That would be interesting. I think I saw one of those in the trailer, so... Looking forward to it. Let's run around. And spawn into the next mission. Yeah, 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 sure. So we have hub areas that change every once in a while. And then you get to a linear levels. So it's not open world, which is fine. I mean, as long as if you have an open world, fill it with stuff. So I'm not mad about being linear in some way. Uh, I cannot even say the 5700 XT, it runs with specific power supply models without getting any problems. I mean, as long as your power supply is has enough wattage, should be okay. <laughs> But the 5700 XT, as far as I read on Reddit, uses a lot of power. Okay, so they do not detect me just yet. So let's swap GPUs now, now that we're here. So as you can see, the 750, the 750 Ti, the 1050Ti can do high settings, 50 to 60 frames in the bad parts. So this seemed to be the best settings for 1080p, everything on high, basically, 100% resolution scale. Let's try 1440p super quickly, just to see how it runs. So, 1440p high now, and we're getting over 30 frames per second. So, 1440p high. Whoa, at 30 frames, it feels significantly worse. So, advice, play it at 60 if you can. Yeah, definitely, I recommend you play it at 60. Combat feels a lot better at 60, which is to be expected, of course. But if you want a higher resolution, you can do 1440p on at 30 frames per second on high settings. So if you want a higher resolution, that's how you do it. Let's get them all. They're all dead now. All right. So yeah, the 1050 Ti can do 1440p 30 frames on this one. So let's get in here and swap GPUs. Okay, save successful. So let's swap GPUs now. Time to do the 750 Ti. The 1050 Ti runs it okay. Let's see the budget king from 2014 if it can run it okay. I want Uruguay, I want Uruguay. See, sí, I want the Sud America. <laughs> I want the La Humanidad. <laughs> All right, so time to swap GPUs. So here's the 1050 Ti. Let's swap to the 750 Ti. Que dice bien? ¿Cómo andas? So time for the budget king from 2014. Let's go. All right, it's in. How much refresh rate does your monitor have? 60 Hertz. I don't need more than 60, personally, because I don't have good enough hardware to get 144 across the board. So yeah, I think 60 Hz is fine. It's the sweet spot, in my opinion. Of course, if you have the option for 120, go for it. Competitive games look amazing at 120 Hz. So yeah, RX 570. Yeah, after this one, we're doing the 570. Shouldn't take long. It should be 1080p30 and 720p60 on the 750Ti, so just going to try it. Okay, so we're back into the PC now. Drivers usually install super quickly on these cards. So we open MSI after the uh, Hang on, gotta, going to change one setting. For some reason, the 750Ti, sometimes this monitor runs it at 30Hz, 
which doesn't make any sense at all. So let's put the scale in on the display. That usually fixes it for me. So let's see. All right. Yeah, feels like 60 hertz now. Awesome. Time to jump back into the game now. And the status will be, we're going to start with 1080p max. Uh, we'll see how it goes from there. But the, um, the requirements were not high to begin with. I mean, the recommended requirements are a GTX 780, which should be like a 1060. So that's usually on new games, that's the minimum. So here the recommended settings, the recommended settings, the recommended requirements are the same as the minimum requirements in some other games. So, so yeah, it should run okay. So 1080p and we're doing max settings. Accepting the textures, let's keep those on medium because we only have two gigabytes. And we fix the FPS scanner. So medium textures and the rest on the highest. That's what we're going to start with. Where's the 1052 gigabytes? It's not here, but it should be like 10% lower than the 1050 Ti. So don't worry, just lower those textures. So yeah, let's jump back into the game now. What the... Oh, this one. ¿Me puedes decir, por favor, algo respecto a la 590? Y sería unos pocos FPS arriba de la 580. All right, so we're back into the game now. Oh my God, the refresh rate. The screen tearing. Yeah, the game is running at 30 hertz. Hang on, guys. Vsync disabled, okay. Yeah, it's running at 30 hertz. Hang on. Gotta fix this. <laughs> the card is doing the wrong refresh rate. It happens with a 750DA on HDMI 2.0. That's kind of pissing me off. All right, so 1080p, 60 hertz, please. Yeah, everything seems to be as it should. Not sure why it's doing 30 hertz. All right, let's try that one more time. Hopefully now it runs at 60 Hertz. Yeah, it appears to be 60 Hertz now, awesome. So as I was saying, 1080p max settings, medium textures because only two gigs of VRAM. And let's give it a try one more, once more. Please, 60 Hertz, not 60 Hertz, hang on. Let me see if I can change that here, hopefully. Borderless full screen, maybe it fixes that issue. Oh yeah, now it's 60 Hertz. So sorry I had to do borderless full screen in this card. It's only an issue with my monitor. The 750Ti does not like this monitor. I should run basically the same. How do you get screen tearing when it's under 60? Because it was running at 30 hertz. As you can see now, it's 60 hertz. So yeah, anyways. So on the highest settings, we're getting over 30 frames per second on the 750Ti. Let's see if that stays that way. Yeah, even in combat, we're getting 30s. So, so far, so good for the 750Ti. Holy hell, they're kicking my ass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to die. <laughs> Holy hell, they wrecked me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have to pay more attention. Yeah, let's just kill them all. Hopefully I don't die like before. That was super embarrassing. So yeah, the 750Ti is doing 1080p 30 frames on the highest settings with medium textures. So, pretty impressed. I mean, considering the requirements were pretty low, makes sense, but still. Super interesting. Are you overclocking the 750Ti? Not yet, maybe later, we'll see. But yeah. Considering the age of the card, pretty impressed with the numbers. Yeah, I got wrecked super quickly on this game. You have to pay attention, as you can see. That's the 
Yeah, let's go. Let's kill everyone. I love that now I, I'm not forced to do stealth like in the first few minutes. Okay, I'm dropping below 30 now. Never mind, it's stabilized. Yeah, when some effects show up, it likes to drop a little bit. Yeah, especially here. But it's stabilized now. It was just uh, a split second. Let's go heavy for this ones. But finally I can play as a werewolf in a video game. I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> so yeah, super cool. Loving these brawler parts. These people were ready to sell What's up, mate? What's up, Mr. Pratap? How are you doing? Podrías poner la temperatura. Ya te dije, está dentro, dentro de los 70 grados. No muestra la temperatura porque en cada máquina es distinto. O sea, si tenés distinto flujo de aire, ya vas a ver como que va a ser distinto. Tiene muchas variables, no tiene sentido que lo muestre. Pero igual se agradece el interés. I'm also liking that when I become a werewolf, I can just break everything. Everything gets destroyed in a split second. So yeah, so far 1080p, max settings, medium touches, 30 frames per second when fighting. We're going to try lowering some settings and see if we can get 60s, probably by lowering shadows post-processing and effects, like on most Unreal Engine 4 games. We can get that 60 FPS thing by sacrificing graphics. But hey, does overclocking your GPU affect it in any bad way? It should be okay in most cases. I wouldn't be concerned about it unless you're overvolting it like crazy. So, okay, let me see. Okay, here we're into the 40s. Let's try lowering some settings. Let's see if we can get 60 frames by lowering some stuff. So usually in a real engine 4 games, by lowering the post processing to low, shadows to medium and effects to low, you get a massive boost in performance. So let's try that. So this is max settings with low ambient occlusion, low S no, low post processing, <laughs> shadows and effects. That's usually what I do to get good numbers on Unreal Engine 4 games or to improve the numbers that are already there. So everything on the highest, um, excepting shadows, post-processing and effects, those are on low. The rest is basically maxed out. And I'm seeing that the game looks significantly worse because there is no ambient occlusion. There is, I think there is no shadows either. Yeah, there's a very few shadows. But as you can see, we're getting now 70 FPS. We jump all the way up from 40 to 60, 70 frames. So yeah, if you want performance, maintaining 1080p, there it is. And thank you so much, Anshul Anand, sorry if I messed that up, for becoming an awesome supporter 2.0, the tier two part of my memberships. Thank you so much, man. I hope you enjoyed the emojis, the shout out at the end of the live stream, and the um, icon next to your name that will be changed if you stay for longer thank you so much man for supporting the channel directly so i can get more gpus more games to test improve the channel the channel in general so thank you man uh se puede jugar bien en 1366 por 768 si probablemente lo vamos a probar ahora tranqui but yeah guys lowering the settings on 1080p i'm getting 60 frames with worse graphics so yeah, what will be a worthy up a worthy upgrade from my Valiant Ryzen 5 1600F? In your guys' opinion, I wouldn't change it yet. I'll probably go for a Ryzen 5 5600X or something like that. Really doesn't seem to be a bad CPU at the moment. Should be okay. So I wouldn't change it just now unless you're doing video rendering simulations, something like that, or streaming. In that case, maybe Ryzen 7. The, the extra threads should be super helpful. I cannot skip this. Sorry, guys. Alright, I can enrage myself. Let's go for it. Let's explode behind these people as a werewolf. I'm a werewolf. 
Yeah, so far I'm enjoying this part of the brawler thing. And it's stats at 60 with those graphics lowered, the post-processing, the shadows and the effects, the rest maxed out. So it seems to be running okay. Let's try 720p now. Let's see if we can do 60 frames on max settings. Oh, before that, let's put max settings on 1080p again to show you the difference. Yeah, so far I'm liking the roller part. The stealth part, the force stealth, I didn't like it. But when you get to do the brawler combat, it's pretty fun, at least right now. And as you can see on max settings, we get ambient occlusion, screen space reflections, extra shadows. But we get a huge hit to the performance. We get like 30 frames per second instead of 60s. 30 frames, I mean in the bad parts. All right, got him, got him. So yeah, let's drop to 720p now. Let's see how that goes. So let's see if, if now full screen gives us 60 hertz. Please, 60 hertz. No, this is 30 hertz. So let's go to the desktop, select 900p. So we can do borderless full screen. Sorry guys, my 750Ti has that issue with this monitor. So 900p, awesome. And we go for borderless full screen. I, I said 720p, well, let's do 900p first. <laughs> then we do 720. Use slow preset for a second. Okay, I'm going to do it in a second. Let me get out of the game and back in. So we're doing now 900p, but I mean 1080p on low post processing shadows and what's the name of this? And effects was basically 60 frames. So I don't think low settings makes a lot of sense, but we're going to try. Looks fun doing the werewolf mode, make pick up doing sale, during sale. Well, yeah, on the werewolf part, I think it's the best part of the game so far. The werewolf sections. So. For that part so far is what I'm liking about the game. So yeah, let's get back into the title with 900p. And it runs fine. That's also one great thing. You can do 1080p 60 on a 750Ti by lowering the settings, but hey, it's doable. So yeah, come on. Nice. So let's start combat, which is what drops the frame rate. <laughs> so we explode behind these guys. Bam! Let's kill them all. Alright, so on 900p, highest settings, we're getting 50s here. Probably going to drop into the 40s with more effects on screen. But so far, so good. I'll probably play it on high on 900p. So if you guys have a 720p monitor, you should be able to max it out and get 60 frames per second on this GPU. So great stuff, good performance. Let's get them all. All of you should die. There's also two stances. So you have the fast werewolf like this, so you can dodge. And you got the slower werewolf that you get into kind of a rage mode, but you're slower. So yeah, look to the left. What happened? Hola, jubilation Lee, todo bien? So guys, if you're wondering about the performance, it runs okay. Not much to say, really. I'm using a budget GPU from 2014. Oh, some whiskey. Great. Mmm, delicious. Delicious alcohol. So as I was saying, the performance is fine. Even this card can do 60 frames. So for 900p, I would probably drop to high settings so we get smoother 60 frames instead of dropping into the 50s. So let's drop it to high. So, high settings. Please say hello, everyone. Okay, hello, everyone. 
I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. Earthblood or Earthbound? Earthblood, I think it is. <laughs> Sorry. On the 750 Ti, 1050 Ti, 570, 580, 1650 Super. If that's what you wanted, there you go. <laughs> so this is now high settings 900p, if you were wondering. So 900p high settings. If you're aiming to build a budget machine like an APU, I think it's a good idea to stick to 900p. I agree completely. 900p or 720p. So this is now high settings. We got a small improvement in performance, which this is how I'll probably play the game if I only had a 750 Ti. 900p high settings. You get basically 50 to 60 frames, even here in combat. So in these parts you drop into the 50s, but in general should be into the 60 frames range. I'm getting wrecked, hang on. So yeah, in the best part of the game, which is the werewolf combat, it's still pretty smooth. I mean the performance, of course. Okay, got him. Yeah, wait right now guys, GPUs are super expensive at the moment, we're not in a good time to buy GPUs, but if you can find used GPUs from this range, 1050 Ti, 750 Ti, 570, 580 for cheap in the used market, should be a good way to wait for new GPUs to come out and prices to drop. <laughs> I see the tank. Gonna have to cut the What's up, RX Singer H? <laughs> Sorry for messing up your name. I hope you're having a great time. Quality drivers, so siempre los más recientes. I always use the most recent drivers, guys. I always update them to the latest ones. They're injecting something into the so keep that in mind. Oh no! Experiment some people. Oh my god. But yeah, it runs pretty well. Let's do 720p now. So we're going to drop to that resolution. So allow me a second to change to full screen. Let's see if this time is 60 hertz at 720p. We're going to the highest settings. Does having an old Windows version affect the performance? It really depends on the game. I mean, some games do not allow to, to be launched without the latest version of Windows. So it shouldn't affect performance at all. It depends on what's running in the background. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go for the lowest later, <laughs> patience. So as I was saying, this is now 720p ultra settings, I think. Let me check super quickly. So we get 500 FPS in the options menu. Yeah, max settings, 720p. And we're getting, okay, over 60 just fine. <laughs> it runs fine. Nothing to worry about. Although the screen tearing is insane. So if you're playing this, use a V-Sync for crying out loud. So 720p Ultra, 720p Max Settings. All right, let's get enraged. I'm a werewolf. Okay, when fighting, we drop into the 70s. So yeah, if you have a 720p display or 1366 by 768, I recommend you just max it out, it runs fine. I mean, even in combat scenarios, I'm getting over 60, I'm destroying stuff. Got him. Eh, o sea, la parte de combate como, como hombre lobo me está gustando, el resto la verdad que es muy meh, hasta ahora. So for the people asking in English and Spanish, so far I'm liking the werewolf hack and slash hack and slash brawler parts, but then the the stealth parts don't seem super interesting so far. I mean I see no reason to go stealth. So the injections have something to do with the worm. You think so? I mean the combat parts I like them. The rest pretty pretty generic, the rest of the parts, I think. Personal preference, of course. But you can look at the gameplay and judge it by yourself. That's basically the point of this video. But it runs fine so far. Mmm, some whiskey. Mmm, delicious. 
Lucius. All right. Yeah, some boss fight is going to happen. I mean, <laughs> if you're in a room filled with stuff and super empty in the middle, there's definitely a boss fight coming. Let's see. Yeah, definitely a boss fight. Here we are against a mech. Finally. Yeah, bad idea. Just get away. Circle to dodge, gotcha. Yeah, those hours in Dark Souls are getting me better at this combat, I think. Yeah, you can be the fast werewolf or the slow one. In this case, I recommend you are the fast werewolf to get into... Yeah, it was super easy, I think. I'm going to die, though. <laughs> Let's heal. So as I was saying, yeah, these brawler parts... I think are the best part of this game. Also, that boss fight was super easy. Maybe I have to increase the difficulty. So yeah, yeah, the NPCs are very stiff. I, made it I agree completely. Okay, the progress was saved. So let's go back into sub GPUs. So we're going to the settings. Go back to 1080p, and we're going to swap to the 570. <laughs> Low budget Metal Gear? I don't think so. Metal Gear was more of a stealth game. They didn't have a brawling option, I think. <laughs> it feels more like Prototype, in my opinion. Prototype or X Men Origins Wolverine, the video game. So let's go back to 1080p here. And let's turn off the PC. So 750Di ran it fine. You can do 720p max. 1080p low for 60 frames or 1080p max it runs fine so yeah let's do the 570 now uh, let's remove the card so here's the 750di <laughs> the legendary graphics card from 2014 still working so let's now do the 570 which most of you should have, considering the pricing it had a few years ago. So yeah. All right, 570 is in. Excellent. Let's see how that goes. IGN ratings are trustable. Well, yeah, makes sense in this case. Worth a buy gives it a 3.5 out of 10. Holy hell, that's a low score. Well, personally, the only thing I'm liking about the game so far is the brawling parts with the werewolf. The rest feels pretty meh, personally. So yeah, not sure about that. But I mean, if you wait for a sale, should be fine. The game plays, I mean, it runs fine. That's the good thing that I'm getting out of this. So yeah, at least one of the parts of the game I feel is good. The rest, not so much. So yeah, we're back into the PC now. RX 570, as you can see, stock settings. These are the drivers I'm using. I'm going to check if there's any new driver for the 570. Allow me one second, guys. Yeah, I'm going to do 1440p. Yeah, on the 570, do not worry. Let me check for updates. Okay, the drivers are up to date. Time to launch the game then. So 570, do you use DDU while swapping? Not this time around. I use DDU after the live stream ends. I use it, I remove every driver. Then before a live stream, I install the Nvidia driver, the AMD driver. And once I put the GPU in, it detects the GPU and the driver starts working. So this works because every time I finish the live stream, I remove everything and install it again. So it doesn't get super weird with the driver part. And the swapping is more dynamic. It's super fast to swap. So yeah. Anyways, so max settings, 1080p, nothing else to mention there. Let's get into the game. It's better than the medium. Well, the medium is a different kind of game. All right, yeah, 100 FPS on the highest settings. So I can already tell you 1440p with medium settings is probably going to be 60. 
so it runs insanely well. I mean, look at these numbers, 120 FPS on the highest settings. So yeah, running perfectly fine. So yeah, let's get into a fight. How do I get down? Let's get down here. Let's wreak havoc as a werewolf. Which again, in my opinion, the best part about the game Security is being a werewolf. So I just enrage myself. Blah. Oh, they're kicking my ass now. <laughs> Let's get those snipers with silver bullets. Alright. Now let's go heavy. Holy hell, this guy is super resilient. So yeah, when I'm fighting, as you can see, I'm dropping some frames. Instead of 120, I get 100, but I mean, this is the highest settings on 1080p, so... Kind of... Good performance. Pretty good numbers. So yeah, at least... The game is running okay. Is this PC exclusive? No, it's on the consoles as well. It has a PS4, PS5, Xbox One version, I think, and an Xbox Series X thing. I think it runs at 4K on the PS5, which makes sense. I mean, it's running super fine on the 570. The 570 is doing 100 FPS on the highest settings on 1080p, so good stuff. Eh, no, no uso eso, José de Jesús. Que se gaste y bueno, otro día compro otra placa madre, ¿qué va a hacer? <laughs> Thoughts on Palit and PNY GPUs. Never owned any of those. But I heard good things about the expensive models. The cheaper models, not so much. But yeah, in my country, those do not exist. So, no chance to try them out so far. Okay, let's get enraged. No Alright, awesome. I got him. Die, potato. Anybody else? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Holy hell, I'm getting wrecked. Alright. Werewolf versus Robocop. That would be interesting. So yeah, as you can see guys, 1080p is running fine. Let's do 1440p now that we're here. So we increase the resolution to 1440p. So it should look a lot better. So yeah, 1440p now on the highest settings. I'm probably going to have to drop some stuff to medium to get 60s, but hey. All right, 50 FPS, <laughs> and I'm going to die here. Yeah, they got me. I got distracted, that's why. So as I was saying, I was getting 50, so good stuff. Metro Last Light is free on the Epic Game Store, really? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see the Epic Game Store. If that's the case, I have to finish the live stream quicker and do a video talking about it, but hey. Let me see. Oh yeah, Metro Redux. Metro Last Light Redux is free on the Epic Game Store. That's super. Um, that's super funny because a couple of days ago I did Metro Redux tests. So guys, if you want to see how those run, link in the. I'm going to link you that. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I just tested the Metro franchise this includes Metro 20. on the 570, 580. So guys, if you care about that, you can find it in my channel. I tested that yesterday, literally yesterday I tested Metro. So yeah, it looks like a cheap fun game. Well, yeah, basically so far I'm liking the, um, the werewolf parts and the, it feels like a double A game. So it feels outdated, but the combat, at least in my opinion, feels fine. The werewolf combat. Ah, I'm angry. Yeah, 50 frames, so lowering some stuff to medium. Probably going to give us consistent 60s at 1440p. Holy hell, so many enemies. <laughs> and gotta, gotta focus, gotta focus for a second. 
All right, I'm dropping into the 40s now, so definitely some tweaks are needed. But if you want to play it at 1440p, as you can see, it's doable on the highest settings even. All right, gotcha. Anybody else? Uh, will you try to get the RTX 3060? Yeah, I requested the 3060 non-TI from NVIDIA. They told me that they don't know how to get it to my country, but hey, we might get one, who knows. If that's the case, that would be super interesting because I can compare it with the 2060. Oh man, yeah, they're getting me pretty good. So let's use this as a, as a moment to lower those... Uh, what's the name? Lower those settings. So we're going to lower the shadows to medium, the post processing to medium, and the effects to medium. So we get some extra performance there. So this is 1440p max with medium effects, shadows, and post process. That's basically the settings I'm using. So everything maxed, and those things I mentioned on medium. So yeah, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can maintain 60s when fighting. And if that's not the case, we're going to drop it even further. But yeah, 1440p ultra settings, over 40 FPS. Yeah, I'm going to try the lowest settings just after this, so don't worry. I know I've been promising that for a few minutes already, but be patient. We're getting there. Okay, we drop into the 50s. Hopefully we don't drop into the 40s like before. So I'm just chasing my way here, getting the enemies before they start attacking. <laughs> so hang on, I'm trying to focus. Because I'm dying like an idiot. But finally I'm getting a challenge. So yeah, 1440p with medium shadows effects and post process appears to be okay. So good stuff. Okay, let's get you with the rage mode. Enter frenzy mode. Holy hell. <laughs> I'm about to die. Please do not kill me. I mean, I'm in rage mode. I should be invincible. Oh no, I'm going to die. No! I'm almost there, come on. Okay, I can heal, awesome. Ooh, that was a close call. So yeah, as you can see, 60 frames most of the time. Over 50, better said. So let's try now the lowest settings, like Mark asked. So let's do it. Yeah, screen tearing is normal. I mean, I'm not using V-Sync, so makes sense. So let's try the lowest, absolute lowest settings. So why not? Let's give it a try. <laughs> so 1440p lowest. And I can see that the game looks a lot more flat, to say it in some way. So there are no shadows, there are no ambient occlusion, no reflections. Well, shadows, there's a few shadows. So the shadows still look pretty decently, pretty decent. But pretty subtle. So yeah, lower settings, I'm getting 120 FPS, so... Okay, there's some sort of screen space reflections still going on. And there's more popping. But yeah, lower settings runs a lot better. But there are... there's the, the game looks much worse. So yeah, my advice, avoid the lower settings. Just, yeah. Just don't. Do yourself a favor and play it on medium to high, at least. Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Werewolf the Apocalypse. That's what you wanted to hear, and <laughs> there it goes. So yeah, let's now do 4K, because why not, it runs okay, so maybe 4K is doable. We're going to try high settings. 
yeah, high settings should be do should be doable. So high settings at 4K. And the textures will be maxed out. So yeah, let's do 4K now. So 4K high settings, basically. Will this game be on Steam 2? I do not know. It's on the Epic Game Store. That's as far as I can say, because that's all I know. I got the code for the Epic Game Store, so... At the moment, it's an Epic exclusive, as far as I know. Okay, so at 4K, we're getting 30 frames right now. We'll see once we get into werewolf mode. That is more demanding. Let's go. Save successful. Awesome. Let's go into werewolf mode. Bam. Yeah, 20 FPS. So 4K high is a little too much. So let's do some tweaks. Let's go back to medium settings. So we're doing medium settings, highest textures. So 4K medium will have to do. So yeah, 4K medium. Still into the 20s, so 4K doesn't appear to be a good idea for this game. I mean, considering how bad it looks on low settings, I would avoid low settings right away. I will just lower the resolution to 1440p and be done with it. So yeah, 4K too much for this card. Probably the 580 will do a better job. But as you can see, when effects show up, the 570 at 4K is chugging along. So yeah. I guess no more stream for a while now. Or maybe you'll test something, maybe Crisis Remastered. Yeah, after I do Neo 2 tomorrow, I'll be doing more videos, basically. Less live streams. Oh yeah, maybe Crisis Remastered because they improved it significantly, so it'll be interesting to check it out. So yeah, let's now do the 580, so we get out of the game. We close the... shut down the PC and swap to the 580. So let's do that. So swapping GPUs now. So we removed the 570. Holy hell, it's so hot. So here's the 570. Oh, it's hot. Oof. Do not remove it quickly, guys. You're going to get burned. So here's the 580, the triple fan beast. Let's plug it in. All right, it's in. This isn't open world, is it? No, it's not open world, but you get different levels that you can backtrack a little bit. But in general, you're doing linear stuff, which I'm okay with. If it, if I don't have anything to add in an open world, just don't do open world. I'm, I've been missing linear games lately, so this seems to be more of a linear thing that you can choose in the levels to go stealth or go werewolf. Personally, I prefer to go werewolf, werewolf, so I always check the loud option. So yeah. You like these live streams more than the regular tests? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I like doing live streams more because I get to talk to you guys and see what you think. And you tell me, hey, test this, test that. I love doing live streams. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Uh, and in May, you'll get Mass Effect Trilogy. Yeah, true. I, I've been looking at some screenshots and some comparison videos. It looks amazing, the Mass Effect Remastered Trilogy. I want to test that super... I'm super pumped for that, because I never finished any Mass Effect game. So, all right, we're back into the PC now. The 580 is in, as you can see here, latest drivers. So let's launch the game right away. We're going to start with 1080p Ultra which will be okay. The 570 did it without breaking a sweat, so 1080p max. So yeah, let's get back into the game. And again, thanks to Nacon for providing a copy of the game. They provided the copy yesterday, so I've been able to play a couple hours before the live stream. Ghost water. What do you mean by ghost water? <laughs> 
yeah guys if you like what i'm doing here and want to see more subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more live streams more videos more testing make sure to like the live stream so youtube recommends my content to as many people as possible so i can do this more often basically but thank you guys for watching super appreciated that you're here with me so now we're doing the 580 on the highest settings in p no you guys are breathtaking <laughs> no you guys are breathtaking all right, so let's go werewolf in this section. So let's get enraged. Bam. Yeah, basically over 90 FPS on the highest settings in the werewolf battle sequences. So yeah, so far so good, which makes sense. The 570 could do it without breaking a sweat. Gotcha, brother. Yeah, the green skin made the water bottle disappear. Yeah, that's true. That's because I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast that deletes my background. I'm not using a green screen actually, but I like that it removes the water bottle. It looks like I'm doing some magic tricks. <laughs> so yeah, pretty hilarious. So yeah, I'm getting over 100 FPS on the highest settings 1080p. 1440p should be over 60, so Let's right away jump to 1440p. Why waste time doing 1080p here? It runs completely fine. So 100 FPS, what else do you want? So let's do 1440p highest settings. 255 likes and 155 watching, lol. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for the support. I super appreciate it. So 1440p max, that's what we're doing now. So highest settings, 1440p. Let's restart the checkpoint so we get some combat in the way. What's your opinion on the game? The game feels outdated. The graphics are okay, performance is great. And I'm liking the combat parts with uh, Werewolf. But the parts where, where you're not doing this, that I'm doing right now, don't feel that great, in my opinion. Super stiff animations on the characters. So yeah, feels like an old game with decent graphics and good performance but I'm only liking these brawler parts with the werewolf the rest of the game, at least right now, for the little I played with it doesn't feel pretty that good feels pretty unpolished in that way but I haven't run into any bugs yet, so... performance is good brawling is good stealth, not super special animation yeah, the characters are pretty stiff. But other than that, I'm enjoying it. As long as I'm not doing stealth, <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. So let's get enraged behind these people. Bam. Yeah, I mean, doing this is the best part of the game, in my humble opinion. But I'm feeling that it's very repetitive in that regard. Because this is all I've been doing since this live stream started. So yeah. Let's get him. You're now dead. But yeah, even at 1440p you can do 60s while fighting, so... 1440p runs good. As you can see, it's a little bit better than the 570, which is usually the case with these two cards. So yeah, it runs a little bit better than the 570, you can do 1440p 60 without tweaks to the options menu at all. And you should be able to do, what's the name of this, 4k as well. So let's do 4k because 1440p runs fine. So let's wreck havoc at, 14, at 4k. So 4k, come on, waiting for ya. Alright, 4k. 4K maximum, let's see if we can get 30 frames per second. Hopefully we can. What the heck happened here? <laughs> so 4K max will be my objective at the moment. So 4K, everything maxed out. How's the 570? The 570 did 1080p Ultra 90 frames per second while fighting. And uh, at 1440p was able to do medium settings 60 frames, so it runs fine. 
now it's time to do 4K on the 580. So, okay, 30 frames per second. Let's see once we start brawling around. Okay, yeah, it's dropping below 30 now. So time to do some tweaks. Let's try high settings. Let's see if that does any favors to the performance. So everything on high at 4K. Maximum settings, we drop below 30. So yeah, will you test Red Dead Redemption on the 360 emulator? Yeah, sure, I'm going to, eventually. Alright, so 4K on high settings appears to be 30 frames. Let's play for a little bit more and see if that's the case. If I survive the encounter. <laughs> okay, let's heal, awesome. I'm getting wrecked, as you can see, guys. Oh my, oh my god, I'm going to die! Let's heal, quickly! Okay, did I get him? I think I did. Oh no, don't die! Yeah, they got me. I died. <laughs> I died. So, 4K, you can do high settings at 30 frames per second, apparently. So, yeah, awesome. You're carrying too many crossbow bolts. Oh yeah, I have a crossbow. Oh, this auto aim is horrendous. Use a mouse and keyboard for <laughs> for aiming. Yeah, now we're dropping below 30. Pretty unfortunate. Let's see if we can maintain. Okay, we went back into the 30s. Weird. Let's get away. At least the game is now getting more challenging, which I, I like. Considering that at the first hour the game was super easy. Uh, one dislike like who's trolling here? That's fine. It's hilarious when people dislike just to troll. I love that. It's funny. Hi, much is the stream delay? 30 seconds. 30 seconds of delay, unfortunately. But that's what it, that what happens when you stream at 4K. You get a 30 second delay. I forgot what the dodge button was, but that machine just halves my health super quickly. <laughs> just two hits and I'm dead. <laughs> I like that. How's the story? I, I haven't paid attention at all about the story. So guys, if you want to play this game at 1440p or 1080p, ultra settings, 60 frames. At 4K you have to do high settings to get 30 with some drops into the 20s. Oh yeah, performance is great so far. Good numbers. attack and now I'm using my special attack so I destroy it there we go I'm getting the hang of it come on die humans So yeah, I think this, the 580 runs it fine, as you can see. Nothing to say, really. <laughs> you can do 1080p 60, 1440p 60, or 4K 30. So yeah. Not much else to say about the 580. I think I'll swap to the 1650 Super now. That some of you guys were wondering how it runs. Have you done a video explaining how to create high resolution both in NVIDIA and AMD control panels? Not uh, very long ago, I think it was 2014 when I made that video. I probably should make another one. So thank you for reminding me <laughs> of that. Uh, time to swap GPUs. The 580, as you can see, runs it fine. Let's do the 1650 Super now, which is the competition of the 580. So we remove the 580. One second, guys. So here's the super cool 580 triple fan version. Let's put it to the side. That's heavy. Now time for the 1650 Super. 
only six pin connector. So let's plug it in. All right. The blood effect is very good. Yeah, the blood effect, I like it, but the rest feels pretty generic. The NPCs are super stiff. Look at this, the bottle is invisible. <laughs> Will the 1650 Super perform better than the 580? I don't know, we're about to find out. Hopefully it does. I mean, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does because it has less memory and it's cheaper in my country. Hang on, I'm waiting for the drivers. All right, so we're back into the PC now. Let's do, let's talk about the NVIDIA control panel super quickly. We're going to start with 1080p Ultra, so 1080p Max. And we're going to put full RGB because my capture card looks better. The footage looks better when I put that. And uh, what else? Oh, here, performance scaling on GPU. Yes, please. All right, and we're going to put on 3D settings, DSR at four times, so we can do 8K on a 4K screen. Just for, just for the memes, we're doing 8K on the 1650 Super, because why not? And, okay, let's launch the game. Do Sotek cards run hotter compared to their brands? It really depends on which version of the card you get. The one I have, it's super hot, it runs like at 70 degrees Celsius, 75, when under full load. But then when you are um, playing the game, it's pretty noisy. So as long as you get a bigger card with two fans, should be okay. But the cheaper Sotek models are pretty hot so far. Hello, Gorenius LEL. How are you doing, man? For Batman games, fans might be feeling might be a same feeling in gameplay. No, the Batman games feel a lot smoother when in combat. This one didn't, doesn't feel bad, but it feels stiff, the animations. So yeah, definitely less budget, but it plays fine on the werewolf parts at least. So let's remove this. Oh, wrong key. Hang on. <laughs> Run button. This is the save I was using. Um, all right, so let's see in combat how it does. So let's get enraged and become a werewolf. All right. Yeah, let's get away from that guy. So as you can see, just like the 580, we're getting like 100 FPS on 1080p Ultra. So it runs okay. <laughs> there is not much else to say in this one. It seems to be completely fine. As you can see, even in combat. So yeah, not much to say about 1080p. It runs fine. When did it launch? It launched today, a few hours ago, I think. So yeah, so far what I'm liking is this combat brawler thing. But not much else, really. Okay, L2 and circle. Oh, I almost got him. Please don't die. Alright, got him. Holy hell, I'm terrible at dodging in this game. <laughs> They're kicking my ass. Alright, one down. Okay, got them all. Awesome. So yeah, let's now swap to 1440p because 1080p <laughs> runs okay. Nothing to really say about it. So. 1440p max settings now, so let's change the status to 1440p max. 
which gamepad are you using? I'm using a PS5 controller hooked to my PC because I like the... it fits perfectly in my hands, basically. So I'm using the PS5 controller as a PC controller now. I don't have a PS5, I just like the controller <laughs> and got one for myself. I even have a tutorial on how to install a PS5 controller on PC, if you're interested. But yeah, with the controller it works fine. Not much to say about it really. It's a controller. It doesn't have adaptive triggers or haptic feedback, but uh, on PC we do not have those features yet. Yeah, I'm using a PS5 controller, a DualSense. So far so good. So again, 1440p max should be 60 frames in combat. Let's see how that goes. Let's kill everyone once more. The ah, werewolf. Yeah, it appears to be 60 even in combat. Awesome. Got them all. Thirty fifty TI, thirty fifty. As far as I know, there's no news about those, unfortunately. But once they show up, I'm of course going to buy them. I think it's absolutely necessary that those exist. So, yeah. Gotcha. You're dead now. Yeah, even with effects on screen at 1440p, it appears to be just fine. 60 frames, completely fine. Some people claim PS5 pad is the best ever made. I don't know if it's the best ever made, but I like that it's a heavy controller and that uh, fits perfectly in my hand. I have super big hands. You probably cannot notice that because I'm doing a live stream. But I have pretty big hands and uh, it's one of the first controllers that fits perfectly. The one I used before was the Xbox 360 controller, and this one is a little bit bigger. So yeah, it fits perfectly in my hand. I replaced my Xbox 360 controller for this one, so... That's what tells you that I like this controller a lot. <laughs> but of course, personal preference. Well, will the 30 series be back in stock? I do not know. I don't have any 30 series cards, so... <laughs> no idea. I'm going to swap to 4K now because why keep doing 1080p if I can do 4K? Sorry, 1440p, run OK. So time to do 4K. So let's see, status 4K max, probably going to drop below 30, but hey, I'm going to try it. So once we're in combat, we're going to see if it can maintain 30 frames at 4K. Can you make a video for Neo 2, please? Yeah, tomorrow I'm doing a live stream on Neo 2 because it releases on Steam. I already have the review copy. I've been playing a little bit of the game. So yeah, for the people that want Neo 2, I'm working on it. Tomorrow we're going to play it at the same time as now. So don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> we're going to be trying it out. Yeah, 4K highest settings is dropping below 30. Let's put it on high. So we drop all the way to high. And let's see, the 580 could do high settings at 4K at over 30 frames per second with some drops into the 20s sometimes. So let's see if this can hold up. Yeah, it looks like X-Men Origins Wolverine. I agree completely. But this one has more stealth mechanics, which I don't really like in this one. I really like the brawler combat, but then the rest feels pretty meh, to say it in some way. Oh wait, I've been here already. This is the start of the level. And I'm seeing drops below 30, so definitely the 580 seems to run this better than the 1650 Super. So. 
keep that in mind. If you have 580, you should be able to get a slightly better frame rates. Instead of the 20s here, you should be into the 30s. So yeah, no big deal, but it is what it is. So let's do medium instead. Everything on medium. This should give us 30 consistently. So let's do 4K medium. Are you also seeing those tearings, or is it because of the capture card? Yeah, I'm seeing them as well, but keep in mind that this is because I'm not using V-Sync. So this is what you would see on your monitor, but it looks more... It's more noticeable due to the capture card. The capture card is only seeing 60 Hz. So yeah, I mean, it's more noticeable on the recording. So yeah, I mean, the tearing is there. I'll go check on the solar panels. So as you can see, as I was saying, stiff animations and characters. <laughs> yeah, let me skip everything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm skipping this because, oh, as always, no spoilers. And I'm here to see performance, not the game itself. So I try to advance the plot as quickly as I can. Can you make a video on the upcoming 11 Gen XE graphics gameplay? I don't have access to that, so at the moment it's impossible. What now? Talk to Rotko. Sure thing. Let's talk to him. Where is he? I love the jumping in this. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. Alright. So. Yeah, let's skip, 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 skip it, skip. What else? What now? Meet the clan. And he is done there. Let's go. Still a long way to go. But life's picking up again. Dual Sense is not available on PC. I mean, you can play it with it on PC, but it's going to work like a normal controller. You won't have the haptics. You won't have the um, adaptive triggers. All that is not on PC, at least not yet. So yeah, but, but as a controller, I like it. I like the shape of it and the weight. So yeah, personal preference. Are you also seeing those tearings? Oh yeah, I already read that. ¿Qué tal Santiago? Saludos de Perú. Bueno, saludos desde Uruguay. Todo bien. Hola. Skip this. I don't care. I'm here for the gameplay. Thank you. Let's go to the outpost once more. Maybe this door. Yeah, locked. Okay, I have to hack a computer for this. You say tomato, I say potato. <laughs> What's the reference of that? I heard it before, I think. Where's the computer? Not seeing it. Okay, here's the entrance, my bad. How do you use LG34 144Hz monitor? No, never tried it before. Sounds expensive, but also sounds amazing. Okay, let's fight. I take this one down. And boom, let's get enraged. So yeah, finally some combat to stress test the GPU. Yeah, it seems to be okay at 4K medium, 30 frames per second. If you do 1080p ultra or 1440p ultra, you're going to get 60s, so that's why I'm doing 44K. 4K runs okay so far. So yeah, the performance is fine on this game, as you can see. Bye everyone, I'm going to sleep. Okay, good sleep, good night, glad to have you here, man. Enjoy. Anybody else? Gotcha. All right. Let's do now, just for the lols, let's do 8K. Oh, it's an ultra-wide monitor, okay. 
yeah i love ultra wide but 144 hertz ultra wide stuff here is super expensive so i stayed with 75 hertz and free sync so yeah now time to do 8k again for the lols i always do 8k <laughs> to see how it runs usually it's pretty terrible hang on gotta increase the size of the fps overlay So you guys see, I don't think this is 8K though, doesn't appear to be. Okay, never mind. This is 8K because it's not moving, it's frozen. <laughs> so zero frames per second at 8K. <laughs> I forgot to put it at the lowest, so one second guys. So 8K lowest settings. Drop it all the way down. All right, let's see. Lowest settings at 8K. We're getting one frame per second. Okay, that's better than most games. <laughs> How would you rate this game? Uh, out of 10, probably a four or a five because I like the, the werewolf combat, but the rest feels pretty generic. And it's a four, yeah, a four, is, I think it's a good number, four or five because the combat is good, in my opinion. Then the stealth is optional, at least in the, after the first level, but it's just more of the same. I've been doing the same thing for over an hour, just became a werewolf, killed everyone, and the stealth wasn't anything special, so I would say four or five out of 10. I'll wait for a sale. It's probably going to come to Steam eventually. Also, do not play at 8K, come on. <laughs> But yeah, it's fun the first hours when being a werewolf, but other than that, I didn't see a lot that I like about it, honestly. So yeah, I mean, if you like the werewolf combat, it's similar to Prototype and X-Men Origins Wolverine in that regard. But other than that, I didn't see anything else that I liked. So yeah, you're planning to get ultra wide. Do most games support it? And what about YouTube videos? You can see that in my channel. I made some ultra wide stuff a few weeks ago. A lot of games nowadays support ultra wide, but not all of them. And most of them require some mods. But yeah, a lot of games nowadays support ultra wide, so you should be safe. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Nakon for providing a copy of the game, despite me not liking the game. <laughs> I only like the werewolf parts. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream as much as I did doing it, and I'll see ya next time. Bye guys. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. See ya tomorrow with Neo 2. Bye guys. Thank you.